Hey guys, it's me, Karima. As you can see, we have a lot to do today. I'm just not feeling it. Um, so there's been a lot going on. Hold on, because Kingston is yelling. Hold on. Okay, so like I was saying, there has been a lot going on over the weekend for me. It was a, quite an eventful weekend, but things are calming down. I am just trying to regain my energy. So just a little short recap, trying to keep this really short. For one, it's, that, it's the time of the month, so I'm already drained. I have no energy. Can you sit down? Can you sit down? I have no energy for one and on Thursday I started developing a cough that same little tickle that I have right now but it was bad so of course my heart sank because you guys know you know what I do if you're new here I'm a registered nurse I work in a hospital and yes I've taken care of COVID patients I'm always careful. I wear all my PPE every time. Like there's no exceptions. I wear a mask everywhere I go, no exceptions. But there's always that small possibility where you think in the back of your head like, oh my God, did I mess up? <coughs> especially when you develop a cough out of nowhere. So of course I called my manager, I had to let them know. Plus the way I was coughing on Thursday, <laughs> wasn't nobody gonna let me take care of them. Cause I would not let you take care of me coughing like that. I cough more when I try to talk. So that's what it's from. But I called my manager and of course they furloughed me. So I was out of work and had to get two COVID tests. I needed two negative COVID tests before I could go to work. And I'm so happy to say both my COVID tests came back negative and yeah, I can return to work. Not like I'm in a rush, but I'm just grateful that my tests are no negative. So what we have discovered is this cough is allergy. Never had allergies in my life, but Texas is trying to kill us. And I'm aware of that now because when my husband, when we first moved down here, my husband had the same cough, terrible cough. <laughs> and it was allergy three years ago because COVID wasn't a thing. So I've been treating it with allergy medications. I've been taking Zyrtec and some cough medication, cough drops, and it's a lot better. Uh, two days ago, I couldn't even get none of this out. Uh, so I've been kind of drained and I'm just trying to get back into the groove of things. So take you guys with me. Right now on the agenda is washing Chloe's hair. It's Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday. Hope you guys are enjoying the game. I'm not really a football person, so there's that. But I'm going to wash Chloe's hair because they have school on Monday, and then I'm gonna cook dinner. It is 5.22, guys, and I'm just getting started for the day. But I needed this day. I needed to get my life together today. So I'm showered, I'm dressed, I have energy. So let's do it, let's do it. Let's get Chloe's hair done, and let's cook some dinner. A little solo mom real moment for you. So we're about to wash this one's hair. I wash her hair in sections, nice big sections. This is actually have some, this has some leave-in conditioner in it. And I detangled each section, section because girl, as you can see, it's a lot of hair. And then this one, you have to keep an eye on him. So he's got his tablet, he's gonna hang out. Okay. okay, she's gonna hang out in here with us and we are gonna get this hair done. Let me see. So I just saturated yeah, just hair. like that. I'm gonna wash my hair. In, in the section. My coat is very wet. Okay, what are you talking about? My coat is very wet. Your hair is getting washed next. My coat is very wet. So obviously I can't do this one. Sorry. Can you wash I'm drowning you. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Okay guys, I can't do this on camera, but. So this is our first oh, test. So Look at all that hair. If I took this out, her hair actually oh, goes all the way like down her back, game. past her baby suit. Um, oh, when it's obviously straightened out, and it's just way too much. So I like to wash it in. Look, my hair, my coat is very wet. What is she talking? Okay, so this is 
her hair completely washed, section by section. This is what I mean. I pretty much take one section, I wash it, put it back in a twist, and go on because one section of Chloe's hair is like someone's whole head. Yeah, lean up a little. This is the length of her hair, but you know how curly hair does. So her hair, sit up. Well, you not unnaturally. Well, her hair's all the way down here. Like, sit regular. Put your shoulders down. So her hair is here, even though her hair sits around her shoulders. Can you see that? I feel like it, I can't do it no justice. So she's got pretty much waist length hair and it's thick. So it's a lot of work. So we're gonna put some conditioner in it, then she can shower and we'll let that conditioner sit while I cook dinner. And then we'll style it. We keep it simple for styling. I know people want to see different styles in her hair. When she was little, I used to do different styles, but she's a big girl now. She's really not into sitting for long styles. And at the end of the day, we just want to keep the hair clean and done. So for tonight's dinner, we're having HelloFresh and I was so glad our box came because with the weekend I had, I had no time to stress about what we were gonna have for dinner. I love the fact that HelloFresh takes the stressfulness out of meal planning and prepping, so there's no trips to the grocery store and I can usually have dinner on the table in 30 minutes or less. Their meals are really delicious and they make it so easy for you to make healthy food choices. So whether you're low carb, vegetarian, or pescatarian, there are options for you. So for tonight's dinner, we're having the pork and poblano tacos with kiwi salsa and lime crema. So we usually choose the meal option for a family of four and that feeds all of us with leftovers for lunch the next day. HelloFresh is a sustainable company so they pre-portion the ingredients to be exactly what you'll need to make your recipe. That way you don't have to worry about wasted food. And what I love about HelloFresh the most is the fact that they give back. In 2020 alone, HelloFresh donated over 4 million meals to charity and they plan on continuing supporting families throughout this pandemic crisis. I love HelloFresh recipe cards. They have beautiful pictures on them and the instructions are so simple to follow. So right now I'm just chopping up and preparing all the veggies for the meal. Now I know I look like a child chopping up these vegetables but my lefties out there they know the struggle and I know you guys understand. So here's what everything looks like all chopped up and this is another thing that I love about HelloFresh because this kiwi salsa turned out so good and that's something I definitely wouldn't have tried on my own. To make the kiwi salsa, I just combined the kiwi, tomatoes, onions, cilantro, and a little bit of lime juice in a bowl. I salt and peppered it to taste and just mixed it together. So now we have our kiwi salsa and lime crema ready and set to the side. The lime crema is just sour cream with lime juice and salt and pepper. We're making pork tacos, so right now I'm just sauteing the ground pork in a pan with the poblano peppers, onions, and the seasoning packs that came with the kit. So all of that took me about 20 minutes to prepare and everything is done. The last thing I need to do is heat up the tortillas and make the tacos and enjoy. So I figured someone would ask what I'm doing because it does look a little bit weird, but I'm basically wrapping the tortillas up in a damp paper towel per the instructions to heat them up and make them more soft and pliable. Now this is not my first time having HelloFresh. We truly love it and their meals are really good. So if you wanna give it a try, go to HelloFresh.com and use code GUILTFREEMAMA10 to get 10 free meals, including free shipping. I love HelloFresh recipe cards. They have beautiful pictures on them and the instructions are so simple to follow. Was it good? It's good? It's very good. Good morning guys. Hi. Hello. Hi. It's me. <coughs> it's Karima. You guys, this cough has been kicking my behind. Um, and yesterday was a complete joke. The goal was to cook dinner, get Chloe's hair done, and clean up the downstairs while everyone was asleep. Yeah, no, I don't. Now I'm usually an energizer bunny. Like, and I got that drive, I can push through, but not with this situation I have going on. <coughs> Promise you, it is not, you know, it's not Z-Virus that shall name 
be named nameless. Um, I promise you it's not that. They done violated my whole situation enough times. They all came back negative. It's not that. Um, and the allergies out here is insane. I'm not really the cedar from the mountains. I don't know what it is, but it's insane here in Texas. Like it, it'll make you feel like you got the flu. And as much as I wanted to push through last night, my body said, listen, I'm busy. I'm trying to, you know, heal you. So I need you to sit down somewhere and calm down. So I had to go to bed. Um, after I finished Chloe, after I finished doing Chloe's hair. So this is gonna be mostly a voiceover video because your girl cannot. I can't talk. The more I talk, the more I feel like I feel a tickle right here. I can almost call when I'm gonna cough because it's, it's right here in the chest. But now today, it's the next day. It's a beautiful, cloudy, gray day. Um, but I'm up and I have a little bit of energy, a little bit more. I slept in, I'm gonna be real, I slept in till about 10 o'clock and I feel good. So I'm gonna have a little breakfast, take my vitamins, because clearly I need help. Take all the pills, um, take this allergy and cough medicine and we'll get started on the day. But I just wanted to do a little outfit of the day for you guys because y'all like that. I don't got on nothing special. I got it on this tank top, it's hot, or maybe I'm hot. I'm not sure, but the joggers is what I wanted to show you guys. I got a lot of compliments on the pair I wore, I don't know, like three months ago, but <laughs> not three months, last month. But I got these joggers from Old Navy. They had a bunch of joggers out in store. They fit really nice. They like, you got a little shape going on. They give you a little, you know, they hug the curve, but they're still comfortable. They're not like leggings, so you got some space. And these come in tall, so I can't really wear, we already know the old, the jean debacle, but their, their joggers now come in tall. If you're tall, you probably have to order them online like I did, because I didn't see any talls in the store, or else I would have probably got more pairs, but they only had the talls in like three or four colors left. Um, there's a bunch of tall girls out there. If you're 5'7 and up, then you'll need Old Navy's tall, because I'm 5'7 and none of their regular pants fit me. It's their joggers in store fit me like this. That's where they stop. And I'm sure that's not what was intended. I mean, some joggers is cool like that, but I don't think that was the plan. So I got them in tall. And as you see, the tall fits right at the ankle. But they're cute and they were on sale. They were cheap. So I love me some Old Navy and you know, the Ugg dupe slippers from Walmart. That's it, that's the outfit of the day. Oh, and before we get started with all of the madness, I, always, I also wanted to say thank you so much so many of you guys gave me so many compliments on my skin. You said I was glowing. I just couldn't believe how many compliments um, I got in that video. It was my last whole house clean with me. If you didn't see it, you should watch it now. You should watch it, it's in the eye. Is it on that side? I don't know. But you guys gave me so many compliments and the, no makeup in that video. I had to go back and see. I'm like, let me see if I had on makeup because why is it so different in this video? But I had on no makeup and y'all said the skin was glowing. Now I have been taking care of the skin. You know, as we get older, we gotta do that. But thank you so much. Y'all made my day. I made a girl feel good about herself. Thank you. I don't have on any makeup today either. I just feel good. Y'all know I take care of myself as best as I can. So I've been feeling good aside from the cough, okay? <laughs> you talk about the cough and it comes. Um, aside from that, I just been really feeling good. I've been kind of in my groove and just trying to do the damn thing. So let me go eat and let's go get to this downstairs. Cause when I show y'all, y'all gonna shake your head because I that's what I did. I shook my head. I don't know what's going on in my own house. Okay guys, so I figure I'll show you what we are working with down here and all the things we need to get done. Um, so this is the front door. You guys know my little mini entryway. And for everyone asking for a home tour, <clears throat> I swear to you, I would do one if I could manage to keep the whole house clean at the same time, but I cannot. I'm gonna work on it with the goal in mind to get a home tour out. So don't worry, I'm working on it. So where I'm done with this situation, I don't know, but I'm moving the shoe rack. I'm gonna put like a little entryway table here situation for the keys. I think I want a new mirror here. I'm loving the circle mirrors, but I'm loving the one with the thin frame. Damn, in, like YouTube just influencing the hell out of us all. But I think I'm going to do a little entryway situation Situation. I was just watching Candace, Candace Halligan, her uh, video for her entryway and office makeover, and I loved it. So I may do mine. This is going to move. And y'all speak to Wesley, speak to my husband. This has been here for, I don't know, a whole year now. So I need this whole field and I need him to do that. I probably could do it myself, but I would like, he's like better at things like that. And if you know, 
look at me on a tangent already. If you know how to match, like find the match to your wall color, can you tell me how to do that too? Cause I would need to be able to paint over that and I don't think we have touch up paint and I'm not about to paint the whole house for one spot. So if you know how to match your wall color, I know there's something you can do to find the match. Can you guys tell me? But yes, so this is a situation. I'm thinking about moving the shoe rack over here so my husband won't do this when he buys things and it stays there until I move it. You know, the kids, little mudroom situation here. We'll fix that. That's where we've been keeping the mask for the kids, but we need to fix all of this situation down here with the shoes and the port office. So I'm running like a little delivery shop out of my home. That's what it looks like. But actually these are all the things for Kingston's room makeover. He got a lot of stuff for Christmas. We just didn't open up the box. Thanks TT. But I need to clean up all of this stuff. The Costco haul is literally still here. And yes, they are using the wipes right out of the box, but no one's gonna put it up. Love them. Um, they would if I asked them to, but you know. My favorite, my husband's favorite line, but you know, you for your channel. Okay, so the kids are eating the snacks right out of the box. We're gonna take care of that. The desk situation needs to be cleaned up. My file situation. I need to get rid of all of these now that we actually figured out how the drawer works. Sideways, you know, the file debacle, it all goes sideways. So, need to take care of that. And here, they completely took over my office bookshelf for their games. So now the playroom is spilling into the office. I will have none of that. So I am going to clean up their playroom. Lord have mercy, which looks like this. A hot mess in here. Um, but I'm gonna clean off their shelves because a lot of the things that are in here, toys in these baskets here, they don't play with any of them. They don't play with that stuff. So we're gonna move their board games to their own shelves in their playroom because that's not a playroom. That's an office and workspace. Chloe does homework there. We need that all over here. And this playroom needs to be organized. And I'm getting rid of this LOL dollhouse that nobody plays with. We need space back in here. And of course the kitchen, never ending. So what's new? We're gonna clean up everything in here. Dishes, floors need to be clean. I know you can't tell, but look, let's get close. Okay, let's get really close to the, there we go. You see it? Crumbs, stains, spills. So it needs to be swept and mopped. And here, this never ends. Now this part here, I'm not sure. The living room, I don't know if the living room will make it. Of course, laundry to fold. I may fold some laundry for you guys, who knows? I can't guarantee it um, and laundry to do. But the living room, I'm also doing a mini makeover in here. So I may just save the living room clean for the mini makeover since we'll clean it, we'll do the things. You guys notice I haven't had a coffee table or a TV console for 17 years years now so that's all part of the makeover and the goal is to have that out to you maybe this soon the goal is to have that out soon so I don't know if the living room is going to be included in this whole house clean it's gonna get done but it may not be in this video but we're doing the whole downstairs so when I say whole house I mean by levels and we're gonna do some stuff in here just mop the floors clean off the washer and dryer that's probably about it because I don't think I'm doing laundry today I just wanted to show you guys what I'm having for breakfast. We have some infused water, just a little lime and blueberries. I love blueberries, guys. And oatmeal. If you've seen my breakfast ideas video, I eat this a lot. I like this a lot. So just the oatmeal bowl real quick. Cinnamon, oatmeal, blueberries, chia seeds, coconut flakes, walnut. Boom. Five minutes. Breakfast. Delicious. I'm going to enjoy this and then we'll get to cleaning.
A million people in the crowd, but I only see your face in all the lights. And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby, I really want to make you mine. update entryway is nice and clean this is other people's mail that i have to now take to the post office and say they don't live here even though i've been living here for three years but i'm not gonna complain i think i like the shoe rack over here um i think it will i don't know it's an experiment we'll see if it'll force us to keep the shoes on the rack because then it would create a mess right here and that's not gonna work so yeah i'm hoping that this is a better space for it this is nice and clean i just wiped it down and the kids have the hooks to hang their actual book bags and lunch bags from so we are we're doing good and i'm gonna look for a little entryway table here for our keys and things like that to put here so that this space is not blank but yeah she's happy and the office is now clean this is like a temporary thing this is where we're keeping the keys at now um i don't love it at all so i'm going to that'll just be there until we get the entryway table but it's nice and clean holy smokes i didn't realize how many boxes we had here but i'm glad it's gone cleaned off the desk got that nice and clean it's just my water that i'm finishing up the kids games will be removed from here this is not what this was um bought for this was not its intended purpose but i have not gotten to the playroom yet but everything is nice and clean in here a little bike station everyone's shoes me chloe and my husband's and chloe's desk she does her homework here and i supplement school she is back in school for those of you who knew i was homeschooling and maybe you missed that video where i announced that but she is back in school but we still supplement Supplement. There's just things that, you know, we can't depend on the schools to teach our kids everything, but we have great school districts, so I really can't complain about my kids' school district. In this little corner, I did wipe off this mirror because it was hella dusty, this little tray, but I did that on off camera. So I need another small win because for some reason that took, that was a lot of work cleaning that area. And this is not it. Like there's nothing small about the kids' playroom. I don't even understand. It's a playroom, that's why but this will not be a small win and I need a small win right now to kind of keep me going. That's like I spoke about before, that drive. Small wins kind of give you the drive to push through when you're like, okay, yep, I'm done. And this is not it. So I am going to move right along to the kitchen. So I wanted to show you guys a close up of the floor. Where are these kids from? Oh my goodness, it's like, that's a chip. You need to mop and sweep every day. I can't do that because I have other things to do, but whatever, we're, we're alive, we're gonna survive and we're gonna get to it now.
all right guys so i just wanted to show you my progress the kitchen is clean floors mopped swept let me see all of that situation we had under the table here is now gone i did clean off the garbage cans and all of the appliances i cleaned them and um shine them with the stainless steel cleaner dishes are washed but my kids are home from school so kingston's cup and whatever snack they finished out of this container that now needs to be washed but that's okay we have like a beautiful clean slate and i'm i'm happy now i didn't of course get to everything that i wanted to get to but you know such is life that's okay that's just content for another video honestly i'm not really sure what i was thinking about in here like this is probably <laughs> gonna be a video in itself that would be so boring to watch just one room but this is a hot mess so this will be taken care of another day but i am happy with what we did accomplish today so as you can tell my kids are home from school and they're hungry so i think i'm gonna end the video here yeah that's a good place to end i'm gonna end the video here and make something for us all to eat and i'll see you guys in the next one i love you guys for the endless support the lovely compliments thank you again that did make my day and i just appreciate the love and support you guys show for my channel so thank you guys love you guys see you next time